Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you what I've got for my children's Christmas Eve boxes. Now I can't actually find the Christmas Eve boxes so I can't show you them but they are quite small. I made them a couple of years ago and we use the same ones every year and we recently moved house so I'm not sure where they've been put so I think Lawrence my husband is going to have to go look in a lot for them soon but I've got all the stuff that's going to go in them so I thought I'd show you what I'm going to be putting them in and I'll put a picture to show you what the little box looks like. So yeah, I have two children. I have Alice, who will just be turning four just before Christmas, and I have Leo, who is two and a half. So everything in here is suitable for their age. First of all, and I say I'm not getting them Christmas, Christmas pyjamas to put in their box this year, because I made sure last year I bought a larger size, so they're gonna fit them this year. So there's no point buying new ones when last year's fit them. They only wore last year's twice over Christmas. They wore them Christmas Eve and the day after Christmas and then they didn't wear them again. Um, so they're like new so they will be wearing those pyjamas on Christmas Eve. If I can find them because I'm not quite sure where they are um, but those are the ones that we wear on Christmas Eve and the little elf pyjamas so this year I haven't gotten any pyjamas for the Christmas Eve box usually i would get them some pajamas and put them in as well but they just didn't need any this year um so yeah i'll show you what i have got for them so i've got them both each a little christmas cup i'm thinking i'm probably going to give them the christmas eve boxes in the afternoon just before lunch and then they can use their little cups uh, for their lunch so these were 1.99 from home bargains uh, they've both got one each they've both got like the exact same stuff in their boxes so yeah, they've both got these little cups and these are one nice each from Home Bargains. They then both have these little hot chocolate snowmen. Um, now I actually bought these last year and we never actually used them. So the date on them, they're still fine for this Christmas. They're fine until April 2022. So I'll probably put them back in that Christmas Eve box this year. There's no point buying a new one. We'll definitely use them this year. Um, they have very similar ones out again in Home Bargains, which is where I got them from. I think they're about between a pound and one ninety nine. Um, but I thought that would be nice to have a nice hot chocolate um, on Christmas Eve. They've both got one of those. Then I thought we'd have a nice bath on Christmas Eve, ready for Christmas morning. And so I got them both a bath bomb. Obviously, I'm only going to use one on Christmas Eve because they bath together. Um, so they can have one on Christmas Eve and one on Christmas Day. Um, so they've got a bath bomb each. These ones have a little squishy toy inside, so you get a little Christmas squishy inside them. So I thought they'd really like those. And those were one forty nine from Home Bargains. Then they've both got a little chocolate net each. One's got little um, Father Christmases, one's got little snowmen. They were 79 pence each from Home Bargains. Then they've both got a little chocolate lolly each. The one's got a Santa and one's got a little elf. And they were 79 pence each. Then they've both got a little Christmas storybook each. These were 69 pence from Home Bargains again. And they've got a few little Christmas stories. And yeah, just thought that'd be nice and I can read them some nice little Christmas stories before bed. Um, Lawrence will probably be getting Leo to bed and I'll be getting Alice to bed. So Lawrence can read Leo's to his and I'll read Alice's to her. So they've got one each. Then I got them both as talk Christmas activity book. Leo's probably a little bit small for some of the activities, but he loves the stickers. So he's basically just going to use the stickers and stick the stickers all over it, which I don't mind because it's only 69p. It cost me that for a pack of stickers anyway. So I got them both one of those each. And then I also got some little Christmassy pencil crayons. Um, so yeah, these are pencil crayons with a little Christmas topper on. This was 99p for a pack of 10. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put five in Alice's box and five in Leo's box. So they've both got some colours and then they can colour in their little activity box with those. So like I said, that was a pound for a pack of 10. And then I also got some little Christmas stamps. 
they loved these last year but they all they've all dried out now so i thought i'd get them some more again what i'm going to do is i'm going to split them put half in leo's box and half in alice's box and then they can use these with a the little activity box and that is everything that i've got for their christmas eve box this year we will be making some little gingerbread men and i will be packaging some up uh, i think two gingerbread men each and putting them in their little christmas eve box as well so they can have the gingerbread men with their hot chocolates and that is everything um everything in their christmas eve box and i think that's enough i don't think they need a lot in the christmas eve box they've both got a story each they've got the bath each they've got some chocolates and they've got some activities which i think is everything they need for their christmas eve boxes so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little video i hope it's given you some little ideas of what you can put in your christmas eve box like i say i like to put something for a bath i like to put something in like for a hot drink i like to put like a little biscuit to go with a drink in some chocolates and an activity and i've got all those covered there so yeah i'm happy with everything that i've got i used to put a dvd in the christmas eve boxes but because we've got we've got disney plus and we've got netflix most of the movies that i would buy are already on there so i didn't think there's any point buying a dvd this year because all the ones that i was looking at buying were already on netflix or on um disney plus so there was no point buying them so i didn't bother um, and like i said the pajamas already fit them so those are the two things that i used to always put in I just didn't think there was any point this year. Okay, so I have found the children's Christmas Eve boxes now. So I just thought I'd show you how I've put all the stuff in their boxes. Now the activity books don't fit in the box. So I'm just going to sit them underneath. But everything else fitted in. So this is everything in their Christmas Eve boxes. That's Alice's. That one's Leo's. So they're practically the same. I think there's a few bits in here you might not have seen. So I've got them each a little light up mickey and there's also under here a little pack of stickers and everything else i think you've seen so yeah that is everything so they've got the stickers they've got a mug they've got a book each which is underneath they've got five pencils each both got a little chocolate lolly some a chocolate net that little light they've got a bath bomb they've got some stamps they've got a hot chocolate and that's everything in each one Celia has got the same in there so yeah I think the love of the Christmas Eve boxes I'm really happy with everything they've got in there and I know they'll really like it so yeah that is the Christmas Eve boxes so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye we wish you